Earth, our lifeblood, has given us the habitat that is ideal for us. The fear of losing this habitat has kept countless people up at night. Humans have been looking for an alternative ever since. In pursuit, we have visited each and every planet of our solar system, looking for suitable habitats for colonization. Unfortunately, we didn't find any Earth-like habitat amongst them. Eventually, we thought of a newer approach. Now, we want to terraform a planet into Earth-like habitat, or at least survivable planet. Our first choice for this expedition was Mars. But several factors, including hundred times thinner atmosphere, causing harmful solar radiation and toxic soil, barred us from making any successful breakthrough. Our pursuit of a similar habitat was in fact still in progress. And we actually found a similar habitat on our far-wandering neighbor Saturn's moon. Although, Saturn has 146 moons, but its largest moon, Titan, showed remarkable resemblance to our Earth's atmosphere. It has lakes filled with water. Well, not regular water, it is filled with methane and ethane. It even rains methane on Titan. This is not the only similarity we share with this beautiful moon. It has seasons just like Earth. A total of four seasons, each lasting more than seven Earth years. One day on Titan equals 15.9 days on Earth. And it completes its orbit about Sun, along with its parent planet, in 29.4 Earth years. Being the second largest moon in our solar system, Titan is larger than planet Mercury. With a 60% denser atmosphere, reaching 600 kilometers into space. Titan makes it difficult for sunlight to reach its surface. It also has volcanic activity on its surface. But this volcanic activity is a little different than on Earth. Here, the lava isn't molten rocks, but liquid water. Almost 55 to 80 kilometers beneath the surface, Titan contains a layer of ocean water. Its atmosphere contains 95% nitrogen and 5% methane. Sunlight takes about 80 minutes to reach Titan, being 100 times fainter than on Earth, making the Moon reach extremely cold temperatures of minus 179 degrees Celsius. There are other factors that make Titan our favorite in the list of most habitable places. Titan has a low gravity of about 1.35 meter per second square. Low gravity means less fuel, since it will take less energy for thrusters to take off. It will also make it easier to be explored. Additionally, abundance of nitrogen can help us grow plants there, since nitrogen can be used as a fertilizer. That's all good, but what about oxygen? How can we survive without oxygen? We don't have to. Titan has abundance of water on its surface, which can be used to harness oxygen. One more important question still stands. Does Titan have life of its own? Life on Earth mainly runs on oxygen. Since its atmosphere does not have any oxygen, there can't be Earth-like life there. But the possibility of other forms of life is always there. Forms which are not dependent on oxygen. So, in this video, we examined how Titan can be a potential alternative for life on Earth. If you have any more questions or topics you would like us to make videos about, you can ask in the comments below. We will be back with another video. Until then, keep looking up.